All right. Thank you very much, Dylan. We continue our team coverage now with KZI 9 News reporter Jay Wan Jung. Yeah, she's live tonight in front of a food truck to tell us how they're preparing to do business in this hot summer sun for hours on end. Jay Wan. Matt Renee, one employee here at Bali Kitchen tells me he's not mentally prepared for the upcoming heat this weekend. If you take a look behind me, the windows are all rolled up, giving some extra protection, but there's definitely some fear heading into this weekend. Bali Kitchen plans to operate on regular hours this weekend, even though they'll have to stay outdoors the entire time. The owner says he's stocked up on water, but it's really hard to do anything else in such a tight space. Yeah, we're really tight in space and also we can install any other appliance due to electrical mm -hmm. problem. But um, yeah, most of the time we just do regularly and just make sure everything is the airflow and all this. Vegas tells me his team is used to the heat because the kitchen in their truck gets so hot too. So there's definitely some concern heading into this weekend with a double hit from the sun and the kitchen. Matt Renee, from where I'm standing right now, it's not too hot, but just a couple steps out into the middle of where all of these food trucks are. Yeah, you're going to need to pack on that sunscreen. Definitely an important note for the customers who plan to come out here this Saturday too. At 6, I'll be back at Marshalls to provide tips from experts on this upcoming weekend. Reporting live in Eugene, Jay Wan Jung, KEZI 9 News.